What's going on, everybody? We got a Blackest Lotus up in this piece. So we're doing a stipulation by, from Kerwit. Kerwit himself. It says, draw all the cards. Draw all the cards. So you take cards that draw cards. Obviously, power is an exception. So if I'm taking a Black Lotus over a chart, of course, you'll understand. Um, but maybe chart, of course, comes back. Also, Kerwit is a reasonable human being that doesn't mind when we take things that will facilitate a playable deck. So as long as I'm adhering to the spirit of the stip, it should be fine because it's less fun for everyone when you draft a deck that just doesn't have playable cards in it. Hmm. <clears throat> so nothing in here says draw a card, right? This says they draw a card. That's the exact opposite of the stip. I don't think anyone has called me reasonable before. Well, Merry Christmas, buddy. Well, okay. Oracle's basically drawing. Regrowth is basically drawing. Shelllock's basically drawing. Ogier, Kazlam is basically... Like, obviously, there's a ton of cards that are basically drawing. You know what I mean? But, like, unless it says draw, I feel like it's kind of... I kind of want to try this guy. But... Emrakul lets you draw their hand. <laughs> it's not the promised end. This is Emrakul the Aeon's Torn, buddy. Get your Emrakuls right. <clears throat> I actually... I, it might just be Emrakul, right? Like, it's gotta be Emrakul. And then we can take blue-red cards that, that help us uh, put Emrakul into play. It's been a day. <laughs> it lets you undrive the battlefield. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is what Father likes. Oh, but there's also a bitter reunion, which goes well with this guy. Mm, no, it doesn't. We're not reanimating this guy. It actually doesn't go well. I'm going to take the Palantir. Can I get Emrakul off of Palantir one time and have them take 15? Also a Ponder in there. If that bitter reunion or that Ponder comes back, I'll be ex extremely grateful, but I don't I don't foresee it. <clears throat> Did you guys answer about the um, the delivery, the tracking? I had a question and I said, if you guys are tracking a package, like you have a tab open to see your tracking. If, I don't even know if anyone does that. Maybe it's just me that I, I open all my, whenever I get a package or whenever I get a tracking number, I open it in a tab and I just leave it up and I'll refresh it to make sure everything's going okay. Icker Wellspring. That's some poop. Um, oh, Jesus. Um... Well, oh, connive does say draw a card than discard. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this ledger shredder because that dude is drawing me cards, and I'd rather. This is kind of. I kind of wanted to take this guy right after Ulamog, but. <laughs> anyway, I open the tabs, even when I know the mail is here. I'm like, I see the mail guy. Okay, put it in the thing. I'll come back and I'll refresh the pages and I'll leave them up until they say delivered. Is that just me or does anyone else do that? That's probably just me, right? You can put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Fascinating. No draw, no draw. I mean, Urtai draws them a card. Inti draws us a card. No, it doesn't. It exiles the card, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, all right. We'll just take Inti, I guess. I didn't I, I didn't know what to take there. It was kind of... I'm kind of torn. I'm like, I'm waffling between like, does this card invalidate the, the spirit of the stip or... <sighs> Summon Library is pretty good. Puts us into a third color. But nothing else. Trigger Mage gets us Black Lotus. It does draw us a card. Do we care if it says draw, actually? Now I'm now I'm curious because it might actually be relevant. Or does it just need to put a card into our hand? Or give us card advantage? No, I don't think card advantage makes... I'll accept Trigger Mage. That's all I need to hear. I, I mean, obviously Sylvan Library is good. But without being any green right now, I'm going to take this land. Walking Ballista is actually pretty good too, though. 
No draw, no draw. This guy puts... It, it exiles the top two cards of your library, which is kind of like drawing. Not really, though. But kind of. Yeah, it kind of is. Let's be honest. I think I just want the fixing, though. Trigger Mage can get a Walking Ballista, though. Yes, it's definitely... It's just a red draw. Right. Right. Right, right. <clears throat> so, I would like to take Brazen Borrower, but... Omnath also draws you a card. However, this guy, when you Mountain Cycle... Cycling does let you draw. Hmm. Brazy B does not draw us any cards. Yeah, I'll just take the Oliphant. Forked Bolt. Horizon Canopy lets us draw. I'm going to take the Taiga for fixing because it does open us up to green cards that let us draw as well. Oh, the Oger... Oger Kaslam came back. Okay. This guy lets us draw creatures. <laughs> Step broken. This is for fixing. It counts. Uh, Bitter Reunion. All right, that draws. Also, Bitter Reunion giving this guy haste feels good. Okay, now... Oh, God, the Icar Wellspring. Okay, I just want to... I'm, I'm vetoing the Icar Wellspring because I think we'll have a cool deck if we just get Fat Eldrazi's to cheat into play. <laughs> Story says draw a card. Neither of these draw. I'll take this guy. And Sylvan Library last pick. That'd be cool. I think we've already passed that. Man, I'm kind of wishing we took that monster manual. I don't know what we took over it. I think we took the Inti over it. And they're both kind of like um, draw adjacent cards, right? Like this guy is the red draw where it exiles cards and you can play them. Monster Manual is mill cards and then put one into your hand. So they're both kind of... Okay, we'll just take Soul Ring. <coughs> is Hull Breacher better than Soul Ring here? Oh, God. What an interesting question. <clears throat> I do remember when Voice was expensive, when Voice of Resurgence was like $18 or something ridiculous. Yeah, those were the days, man. I remember Michael eating the biscuits in the morning those days, you know? You know, Hull Breacher is the anti-draw. I'm just taking Soul Ring. You ain't gonna catch me with no... Oh, Through the Breach. There's also um there's also a fast bond which I don't think we care about. Time spiral is the ultimate draw. <sighs> we already have Ulamog and Emrakul. Oh man. Nothing. Oh, we also have Night's Whisper, but I would just take Time Spiral over Night's Whisper. I'm gonna look the other way. <laughs> Also, this guy's very good with uh, with Through the Breach as well, because you just get to sneak him in and then attack immediately. All right. <clears throat> Let's say I get one veto per pack, and this will be my veto for this pack. <clears throat> Scalding Tarn is good. Nothing in here is doing any drawing. This makes an investigate. But, I mean, like, also, the mana's important, and we have a Taiga, and this makes uh, three colors, which is pretty good. This is also our only green card right now. So this is actually still good for our two-color deck, even if we're not playing the Oger Kaslam. <clears throat> oh, Staff can go. Yeah, Lotus Soul Ring's pretty good. Okay, what's the draw? Nothing's drawn here. This is an island and a, and a mountain, so that's not bad. I do like Spell Pierce. Your image in the top right is not loading. What does that mean? Everything looks good on my end. I can't tell if he's being serious or not. Cycling draws. Yes, that's true. Draw a card. Yeah, all right, good. I wanted it anyway, so... There's a treachery. Mana Morphos draws. So does Scrapwork Mutt. <clears throat> I think I like Scrapwork Mutt a little better. 
Oh, it's from the Twitch webpage. Great. I can't tell if it there if it is the goofy plugin I have. Is there a goofy plugin I have that's that's making things? I don't even have that many plugins. <clears throat> I think I'd rather just have Misty than Scrapwork Mutt here. Mm, cryptic Command draws. Actually, we're not looking terrible for Cryptic Command. We do have quite a few. Restless Spire, Misty, Scalding, Sanders Lounge. <clears throat> and it does draw. So does Pyromancer. Oh, also, Trinket Mage can now get Sol Ring, too, which is fantastic. It's either Pyromancer or Cryptic Command. How <laughs> fun and interactive. <laughs> well, you know, we're here for a good time, not a long time, you know? I think I like Pyromancer better here. I think we want to dig towards our combo pieces rather than keep up our keep up our mana, keep up four mana. No one else. Ain't gonna got time for that. Um, I'm gonna take this Ketria Triome because if we do play green, it's all the colors we want it to be. The only other card I could consider was Teferi. Teferi draws a card. Sail into the West draws us cards. Hellbreaker Horror does not draw us cards. Imperial Recruiter doesn't do anything. We're just going to take the sale here. Because that draws us a lot of cards. Plus it's green. We could play it. Echo of Eons. <laughs> that draws us cards. Boy, they're really just giving us all the draw sevens, huh? We also passed Time Spiral. And Hullbreaker. We could have had Hull Hullbreaker. Hullbreacher. We could have had Hullbreacher and Time Spiral, Echo, and Sale. Yeah, I think we'll just take Echo here for obvious reasons. Thirst lets us draw cards. I don't think we want a Tundra. Don't care about Heartbreed. I'll just take a Glory... Ah, Inferno Titan is Inferno Titan better here. I want to move these to the sideboard because I just don't know what we would do with them right now. I think we're taking Glory Bringer here. I think that guy's a little better than a Soul Ring. None of these draw. I'll just take the land. Yeah, move that guy over. Rafine's Tower is Island and Swamp and Plains. We're just going to take the Scrapwork Mutt because it draws. I'll take Triska. Oh, Venser came back. That's actually not terrible. Last pick Scrapwork Mutt and Venser is pretty good. Those are just two playable cards that I'll easily put in my deck. Still di <laughs> Well, we're clipping that. What the actual shit? <laughs> what in the fucking earth, man? Holy God. Uh, got to get bro. <laughs> uh, I could take Faithless Looting. Thank you very much. I mean, it's obviously Mox Ruby. Mana Crypt is great, but we already have Soul Ring. And I'd rather have a colored source. Holy smokes, man. <clears throat> That's going to go on the internet now. Anything exciting here? Oh, we can take a Minskin boo. That guy draws a bunch of cards. That's exciting. So Mox Ruby into Minskin. I don't understand why like Soul Ring and Black Lotus are these original retro borders and then the, the Moxes are not. Yeah. Easy Minskin, boo. Go for the eyes, boo. Uh, Duretti does draw us cards.
Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. I, I guess it has to be Duretti here. Pian Kiernal Art doesn't draw anything. Mystic Forge isn't great for us. Thank you. I don't know if I love Duretti here, but it's actually probably fine. Oh, fourth year Lingus. Wow. Oh, oh boy. This might be worth splashing off of, uh, like if a Tundra comes back or something. Um, oh, Kerr with the gifted sub. Thank you, my dude. Uh, this, this is probably worth splashing. And I'll tell you what, man, the Monarch draws you cards. So I think we're taking it. Oh, Lotus also does cast forth. And wonderful Christmas time. Got Karn, Magda, Fiery Islet's probably the pick here. Let's assume these two are, are lands. So we still need four playables. I bet we can get there. That doesn't seem hard. We also have a sail into the west in the in the sideboard if we want it. I would also consider Karn. Yeah, let's take Karn. Karn puts cards into our hand. Oh, I do like a Malcolm. Malcolm in the middle. <coughs> I also don't mind Mana Confluence here, especially if we're going to play this fourth Irolingus that I put all the way at the back here. This can be our, our 10 plus mana pile. <clears throat> and Malcolm lets us loot, so he does draw us cards. Um, it might just be Mana Confluence, though. Yeah, let's take Mana Confluence, especially with Oger, Oyer or Oger. What do you think? Greaves? All these guys have haste already. <laughs> I'm taking the oh Volcanic Island. Oh my God, that's so nice. When we have Misty and Scalding. Oh my God, I figured this was this was gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is this like sixth pick Volcanic Island? No, seventh pick. Wow, that's nuts. Urza Saga would have also been good, but yeah, we're taking Volcanic Island. That's bananas. Talisman of Conviction's pretty good. Leovold says draw cards, but that's not really a thing we're going to be uh, able to cast. It might just be Talisman for the fixing, I think. Step suspended. I mean, I'm still going to take things if they draw us cards, but. Oh, man, the, the Mana Crypt and the Mox Emerald didn't come back. That's a bummer. I'll take top, actually, because we do have Trinket Mage. And it draws us cards, so. Wow, that last pick had a Splinter Twin. This pack has a Pestermite. We could have just taken them both and had the combo. Now I'm just going to take this Pestermite. You can't have it. I'm releasing. <laughs> I know what you. <laughs> I know what you. I know. I just. I just felt like I felt like I should stick to my guns, you know. Uh, Torsten is interesting because we have through the breach. It's actually playable. Oh, Bankbuster this late. Interesting. I'll take a Bankbuster this late. Sure. Wow, that's a 14th pick workshop. Okay. This is 25, so now I actually need some cuts. Can we reasonably play Fourth Eerolingus? What do we have? We have Seachrome Coast, Mana Confluence, and Black Lotus. I believe that's... Oh, and Talisman? Actually, that's not too bad. Four sources is not terrible for a Fourth Eerolingus. I would have loved to get a land that we could fetch. Thank you. There was a Tundra and a Savannah going around. That would have been nice. Oh, Courage is gifting sub to first time chatters. Appreciate you. Man, it's like, it's a Christmas miracle. 
<clears throat> so this is 25 cards. We need two cuts. We do have Through the Breach, but we don't have Sneak Attack. So this is... Oh, we actually have this guy as well, which is pretty sweet. When he does combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library and put a creature and or land from among them onto the battlefield. <clears throat> I don't I think it's I think it's gonna be difficult to cut this guy. <laughs> this is 13 creatures. Yeah, I actually it looks like there's a lot of cards in our deck that do draw cards. Let me see how how we did. I will consider anything that like this is like red draw, so I will, I'll still consider that drawing a card. Trinket Mage, Thirst, <clears throat> Palantir, Dragon Engine when it gets <clears throat> when it gets brought back, Minskin Boo, Duretti. Uh, this guy gets us creatures and lands from the deck. Yeah, I mean, 14 cards in our deck do draw us cards in some way, shape, or form. That's not terrible. <sighs> Two cuts. And that's playing Lotus as a land as well. Oh, yes, Mr. Power 10, they call him. <laughs> huh. I think I'm gonna cut Duretti. I don't love that guy. And probably Phyrexian Dragon Engine, actually. Those guys are kind of mediocre. And then like we're playing, we're not gonna play Mishra's Workshop. We will play Mana Confluence and Sea Chrome though. Oh man, Kurt's on a gift in sub spree. Thank you. <laughs> it just keeps going. Yeah, that's Dragon Engine. That's right. Jedi Django. You got it, buddy. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right, so sort by color. So we have literally two two white cards and two green cards, and one of the green one of the white cards is also a green card. But our mana base looks pretty solid, surprisingly. And we have a talisman here and a lotus <clears throat> and a mox ruby, so let's keep those in mind. Okay. One white and we have Oliphant for Mountains, which also gets us Taiga and Volcanic Island and Xander's Lounge and Ketria Triome. So it gets us all colors but white. Blue sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That seems very good. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that seems good. Green, we have, let's say, one, two, three. Thank you. Four, five, six, seven. Seven for Minskin Boo and <clears throat> Oyer. Oger seems good. Um, and then with white, we have one, two. Can Scalding Tarn get us a white or Misty? We have no searchable white sources right now. That's rough. Yeah, we'll just take one planes. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Oh, Kurt with the 70 gifted subs. Yeah, you went from 69 to 70. All right, let's see if this deck does anything. Or if it's, is this an 03? There's no way this is an 03, right? This is at least a 1-2, barring any bad draws we have, you know? Or good draws? Barring the good draws, it's a 1-2. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> with the 71 gifted subs watch the stonks go up <clears throat> also I've been trying to piece together modern and pioneer decks so I can stream them so if anybody wants to donate magic online tickets to me feel free to do so if you guys aren't using them I'm just going to pick up modern and pioneer cards so I can stream the formats more
All right. Let's do it. We're playing against old Sunrise Banana. Oh, Jesus. Is this going to be it? Is this going to be the turn two nuts? Nutter butters? <sighs> turn one, this guy. Turn two, four mana. Make two dies. Oh, we can also scrap work mud on turn one. Oh, Jesus, God. <sighs> getting, I'm getting the vapors. Turn two, Eolingus for two is pretty good, right? This feels good. Okay, I'm going to keep it. Do you guys think that's correct? Oh, boy. Oh, no, what if they do something even dirtier? Archon of Cruelty right into the shitter. Mesmeric Fiend, him to Torok. Interesting. Come on, Black Lotus. Oh, man, can you imagine if we just drew a Black Lotus? That wasn't it. I mean, we still got two more draws, bro. This guy will, this guy will find it. I'm going to pitch Xander's Lounge. This is basically just a better Xander's Lounge. And the hope is that we draw a Lotus, right? I'll even take a Mox. You know, being able to put another another power on the board. <laughs> it loaded the wrong... It did. It loaded Venser Shaper Savant instead. All right. That's pretty good if we get one of those blue cards. And by blue cards, I mean green cards. I don't know what I meant there. Sometimes I'll let my my mouth just to say whatever while I'm thinking. I'm like, mouth, you take over. I'll be I'll be doing the the big brain work. I'm going to keep this guy back in case they have anything hasty. I don't think they will, but I don't think it's worth giving up the monarchy for two for two damage. I feel like we're in a good a good position here. You ain't living until you, wow. Oof. Okay. <clears throat> I would love another blue source cuz I think Venser is going to be kind of relevant here if they try to reanimate something which makes me think they are when they're going this hard on Volcanic and Ashen Rider. Well, that Ashen Rider is definitely coming down. Trinky. Ho oh, ho. Trinket Mage gets us Lotus. <laughs> Let's get Trinkin. <clears throat> Trinkin and Stinkin. You know what I'm saying? I will say yes. Let's get a Lotus. Cast Lotus. Cast Spire. I'm going to keep Venser up here. Because next time we can probably just win with Minsk and Boo. Oh, I guess we don't have a green source, though. We also... Yeah. I, I guess we'd have a second blue next turn, but I still don't want to get Ashen Rider. Like, if they try to reanimate an Ashen Rider, I just don't want to get blown out. Chris, what's up, my dude? I was just going to literally respond to your YouTube comment. Well, not right now, but, you know, whenever I had a second. I just saw it come through in my email, so. I mentioned to Ryan, actually, that I would love to discuss, like, Vintage Cube stuff with you guys. Because I think uh, you're definitely one of the more passionate people regarding the Vintage Cube. And a lot of your changes I also had in mind. Uh, which was pretty sweet. It was, like, definitely nice to see some of the more obscure cards that I, I thought were fun. Um, also being added to the to the vintage cube tomorrow, which I'm super excited about.
Yeah, Chris, feel free to add me on Discord as well. I know that's how I primarily get a hold of Ryan these days. And I know you're in the MTGO Vintage Cube group, so I feel like that's a good a good spot. I honestly do. I think that as well. Um, I I feel like even if you don't like all the changes, a you know that Vintage Cube is going to come around more frequently, so you're going to see more iterations, and b like it it keeps it from getting really really stale. Like I remember there were times where I'm like Bone Shredder. Why is Bone Shredder still in the cube? It's been like six years since this card has done anything. Um. They can kill two guys. I think that's fine. Yeah, so that's the thing. <clears throat> Rob, where you say, and sometimes you'll think the worst of a card and then in practice fall in love. That's kind of what happened to Dream Halls. Where I was like, I don't know if I care about Dream Halls that much. It seems like it's really obscure. My biggest problem with Dream Halls was you couldn't cast colorless cards. Where I'm like, the biggest things I want to cast off this are Eldrazi. And I can't do that. But then I played Dream Halls and it was some of the most busted fun I have had. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you without doxing either of us. Oh, great question. Great question. Um... Okay, so now if they Shallow Grave, they have to get the Fury back. And I'm just hoping they don't have another land. This is six plus Minskin Boo if we draw a green. I doubt we're going to draw one of our two forests, though. So Well, that guy's not going to do it. This guy doesn't do it either. Yeah, Chris, I can actually probably find you. I'm also probably just like at Frank. I think I'm at Frank Lepore on Discord. <clears throat> Definitely not uh, the most original of, of Discord names. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think we're close enough to casting this yet. It's a little bit, a little bit off. We can put them to four. Do we die if we do that? I hope not. Oh, I just saw I just saw the the friend request. So I think we're I think we're Gucci. What up cat with two heads? Okay, so we're going to play this guy. And then we're going to play this gentleman. And then we're going to trigger this guy. It's going to be through the breach watch. It's a reckoner bank buster. Despite the fact we can actually cast this, I think the 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 versatility the, not the versatility but the, the the ceiling on these is much higher uh so i'm just going to keep the i'm going to keep the two big the big idiots uh let's should we just make a construct it's a 3/3 three, three? probably they're close enough to dead oh okay i guess that's i guess that's all it took yeah chris you too man really glad you reached out And our sideboard's not that good because we have so many good lands. And you know what? That's just fine. I'm very much okay with that. Simply having a wonderful Christmas. Any chance we can get Boros Reckoner in the Vintage Cube? <laughs> not without a blasphemous act okay don't be putting boros reckoner in without blasphemous act <sighs> uh it's his pet card and he he loves boros reckoner more than 
Probably any other magic card, I would say. I don't actually know why. Kura, do you have a reasoning for your for your Boros Reckoner fixation? Do you, is Figure of Destiny still in the cube tomorrow? Because that guy's just a classic. If I understood things like that, I probably wouldn't be in therapy. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Good times. Also, Chris, I, I don't uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I do really appreciate these articles. These um, really, really thoughtful, in-depth cube update articles. Like, they're super insightful and it's nice because even if you don't agree with the changes having the justification and like the thought process really helps in like being like okay there was a lot of times where i'm like i don't like this and then i'd read the comment and i'm like yeah all right that makes sense though i can't really argue with that it kind of it kind of uh softens the blow a bit I heard the video on the cube changes. Why is figure okay, but not student? Uh, figure goes in multiple different archetypes. You can, mono red can play it. Mono white can play it. Red white can play it. Um, you can also use the ability uh, at, at instant speed, not sorcery speed. I just think figure is a significantly better card. Blow a bit, Frank, 2023. Okay. Okay. Guys, the, the two forests we were looking for last game, here they are. We found them. Shipping the hand with the soul ring. Like, I feel like if we hit any red source or blue source, we're just in really good shape. This is not, I don't condone this keep, but I'm not going to be the one to ship it. So... What does three mean? <laughs> what are you guys saying right now? Nick Scord says five question marks. Going Thar going Tharn says three question mark. I don't know what's going on. Three? <laughs> okay. We're having a good time. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Going Tharn, appreciate the resub, buddy. <laughs> God, you guys are all... It's really nonsense up in this chat. Maybe they mean it's a mull to three. Yeah, I feel like I should probably mull to six first. And, you know, see where it goes from there. We hit the red source, by the way. So, God willing. This will be a this will be a turn to remember right here. I don't even tend to look at the cards before I mull. I just get rid of them. Just get them out of here. Who's got the time, you know? In this fast-paced modern world, I don't have time to look at six cards, put them back, look at five cards, put them back. Buddy, I got things to do. Cat with two heads, thank you for the five gifted subs. <laughs> this is like a Christmas miracle stream. Oh, look at this. Oh, now they're just showing off. They have one card left in their hand. Are we Wheel of Fortuning? Oh, come on. I was going to do it. That's sad. Did they just go get Wheel of Fortune and they're like, I'm going to pitch everything. Coligon's command. You have no cards in hand, though. I mean, that's good, but... But you have no cards. Let's get rid of Shredder. If we hit a red, we can play Season Pyromancer still. Oh, that was pretty good though, right? Look at this guy. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so if we just hit Lotus, we're in good shape, right? Chris, I feel like you're being I feel like you're being derogatory towards this keep. And I think that's very rude. Okay. As an ambassador of the vintage cube, I expect a little more support, okay? I mean, they're in top deck mode. If we just hit Lotus, then we're good. 
it's, you know, that's all you need. Or it's a vintage cube, right? If you're not playing for Lotus, then... Oh, I was hoping... It, I, was, I was crossing my fingers. Wait, there's still a chance, though. Hold on. All right. Well, you get to play it, right? It's not just... It's not cast. Yeah, nice. Uh, I'll pitch this. Put the counter on. This card is so good. Like, this surprises me that it's a rare. This feels like a mythic. Oliphant. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't think we're casting that. I also don't think we can cycle it, so that's unfortunate. All right. Well. Okay, so I discarded this thinking that the discarded card, you can play it. I was thinking of, like, Currency Converter where, like, when you discard it, you can put it under the thing and then you can play it. And I was like, okay, so I'll discard the planes because then I get to play it. That's not how that worked at all. I probably would have discarded Pyromancer had I known that. But we learn. You know, this is like the second time I've cast this card, so. Hmm. That sure is fascinating. Okay, so we can either play Pyromancer. Well, no, we're not going to. Like, I don't want to discard either of these, right? I think we're just discarding Pyromancer. And then seeing what we hit. And then we can end of turn through the breach if we hit a land. I will discard Pyromancy. Oh, yeah. Choose a target. I'll choose this guy. This guy right here. Oh, <laughs> I could just get to play a Minskin Boo. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. I guess I'll put the mocks first. Yep. All right, that's going to be... That's got to be the end, right? No, they're going to do something. They're going to do some nonsense. Give me a little boo. Give me some counters. Okay. It's all happening. Go for the eyes, boo. All right. We're so close. Necromancy on... Seasoned Pyromancer. Fascinating. Well, you got to do what you got to do. They have one card in hand, so it's not like they can... Okay, it's a Persist. They think they have an extra turn, but I don't think they do. This guy doesn't have Trample, though, so... We'll just hit Emrakul off the top. It'll be fine. I guess we also need a land, though. Hmm. We'll just hit land off the top. I guess we get to draw four if they don't do anything about Boo, which I... Okay, well, I guess we don't get to do anything. <laughs> All right. Oh, we would have hit Volcanic. Let's see what this guy would have hit. Seven cards. Oh, Magic Online died. It was like, no, no. You're looking too deep, buddy. Okay, that was good. I appreciate it. Yeah, also... Yeah, wait. Wait, so this card, when you fling it, it not only deals damage, but you draw the cards as well. Oh, God. This card is utterly bonkers, man. What a planeswalker, dude. Go to my, yeah, go here. Thank you. Chad with the five gifted subs, man. You guys are, this is a, this is like a gifted sub holiday. Is there like a Twitch discount Thank for gifted you. subs? Because you guys are amazing today. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate you. Yeah, I got a YouTube comment that said... Thank you. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I think it was this one. In my opinion, they're turning the Vintage Cube into a big EDH pre-con, cutting Thank too many you. of the exciting older cards for Pioneer playables, and being lazy by interjecting things like Valky Bring to Light. And I'm like, that's a really exciting interaction, though. Um, we're already doing those things in Pioneer and Modern. Not a lot of imagination injecting that into the key. I'm like, but yeah. I, I disagreed completely. And I'm like, they're adding Doomsday. Like, that's like the most classic vintage card you can think of. Like, what? I don't know. I'm like, the majority of magic cards are modern magic cards. So, at a certain point, you're going to have to be adding modern magic cards.
Black Lotus. Reckoner Banky Boy. Okay. Well, Black Lotus. Thank you. Oh, Shu Garner with the 10 gifted subs. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are incredible, dude. I appreciate what they're trying to do. I, do, I don't expect them to cut Thank Storm you. out for the holidays, but I hope to see Gone for some months. Yeah, Chris, where's, why is Storm still in there? Come on. Thank you. Yes, agree completely. And that's, I, like I said in the video, that's why I don't have Storm in my queue because it's just, it, it's too many do nothing cards that are only good in Storm. Let's crack this guy. Thank you. Uh, let's go with Ketria Trium because it casts all of the things in our deck. Except for, you know, this, but that's in our hand. Thank you. Lotus? Torsten. Torsten McMorsten. Let's go this guy into this guy. Thank you. I feel like they're doing well. I feel like we're doing a little bit less well. This is not the hand I was hoping the Mox Soul Ring Black Lotus deck would have. Thank you. I yeah, actually that's a good point. It is less parasitic than ever before. Most of the that's that's also an interesting point though. Thank Most you. of oh, they're just gonna take my bank buster. That's unfortunate. Most of the storm decks you see now are just like doing a bunch also speaking of which, I wonder if there are too many draw sevens Thank in you. the cube. There's like six draw sevens. And I know people love it. But I also feel like it kind of monopolizes the draft and everyone wants to take them and not do other things. Thank you. Okay, well, they're just going to be thanking me forever, so that's good. Yep. All right. Cat with two hands. Thank, Thank you for the you. five more subs, my dude. Really appreciate you. Oh, man. Okay, I'm just going to cast this guy. Thank you. Discard a mountain. Restless Fire. Misty. So we're at... 10. They have 3 power. They could also just crew this guy and deal 4. Feels like we're doing bad. If they take 2 and then we top deck... No, there's not much we can get here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna mute this. I believe. Because it's just... Oh, did it end? Oh, I think it's over. Thank Jesus. Oh my god. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's interesting because what I was trying to say uh, before I derailed myself with the draw seven commentary was that it feels like a lot of the storm decks aren't trying to play a bunch of spells and then tendrils, which is interesting. And I'm not sure what caused that change because a lot of the like rituals are still in there. Metamorphose is still in there. There's a lot of the components are still in there. But it's, I, I rarely see, like, Pyretic Ritual, Desperate Ritual, uh, you know, Rite of Flame, Yawgmoth's Bargain, Cabal Ritual. For some reason, that just it's just not as prevalent. And I think that was the least fun version of Storm. Because I, I feel like that version was just a bunch of do-nothings, and you just have to sit there and watch your opponent and, and be like, well, it's a coin flip, whether they fizzle out or whether they actually kill me. Okay, that's pretty good. I bet they're attacking for five. But they're not going to crew the Banky Boy. That's interesting. I will not block. No blocks. Black Lotus. Minsk and Boo. I don't think that's going to do it. In fact, I would argue that's definitely not going to do it. They have two cards. They get to loot twice. They discarded Thundermaw and Bone Crusher.
I'm thinking about this like it actually matters. I do not think it does. So we're just going to play Minsk and Boo and assume that it'll actually keep us alive. Uh, I would love to make a little Boo. Do they kill it in response? No? Okay. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Just going to pass here. That one storm deck you played against, and I saw the light behind your eyes drain into the deep despair that his life was pretty great sitting on the side of the screen. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. Well, it's going to stay in the hand, unfortunately, until game three, it looks like. Or game two. I guess this is, this is, we won the first round, so this is. I think a good prank would be to increase the volume of every thank you by 1% every time. Uh, is that pranking me? Because that sounds terrible. Whatever you're going to do, don't. Okay, you're going to tap that guy. This is three, four, five, six. Your crew here is seven. That's going to be the end. Let's see if they see it, though, huh? Mr. Tasty with the resub. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. So tasty. Oh, they're just going to chain lightning my face. Got it. Just in case. Oh, mine collapse on a Snapcaster. Really appreciate it. Appreciate the info, kind sir. Thank you. How's our low end looking? It's looking actually pretty decent. Three two drops, two three drops, a bunch of early mana. Like, we should theoretically be fine. I don't know what the problem is here. This is not the mana artifact we were looking for. Is it good enough, though? These guys really need one through the breach is all, like, they're going to they're gonna be good with. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's a that's a keeper, you know. Done. So I think we're pretty sure we're just playing NT on turn one. And they're going to be like, Chain Lightning. They did not be like Chain Lightning. Uh, I like having some treasure chests in the cube, like the Bring the Light package, because I do want to uh, cater to the not super competitive. I agree with that completely. Um, yes, 100%. Like, I recently just experimented with putting an Eldrazi component in my cube. I took out, I had check lands, like Glacial Fortress, Dragon Skull Summit, and I replaced those with pain lands. And it's mostly because I wanted to play this card in the cube. Oh no. Oh no. Rise of the Eldrazi. Which is like nine mana and three colorless. And I was like, you know what? That card seems excellent. <sighs> I think we're just discarding thirst here. If it if we just hit a blue source, I think it's it's pretty good. Plus, like making this guy bigger is what you want to do. Oh, oh, <laughs> That's, oh man! If we just had one land, that would be glorious. Oh, well. Well, that's pretty good still. Counts as a land for Minskin Boo, that's for sure. Yes. So Omniscience and one with the multiverse were also two. Like, the first thing I did when I wanted to add Rise of the Eldrazi was I was like, what are the best ways to get this into play? And I think, is Eerie Ultimatum one of them? Because I had that card listed. And they were permanent. No. Oh, but the Eerie Ultimatum was to get back Omniscience or one with the multiverse. So it was kind of like a package. 
And I also had Obzidat's aid for that reason and the um, the Black White Invasion. Oh, they just killed my NT. That's sad. Invasion of something with a T. Uh, Tolvada, which is when it enters the battlefield, return a non-battle permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, that's fascinating. I mean, we're just playing this guy. We can get Lotus whenever, you know? Oh, uh, Chris, shoot me a link to that on Discord if you have it. I would love to see a replenish package. Look at me. I am the aggro deck now. Oh, wow. They're just going to let our Minsk survive. Do you know how many cards I get to put in my hand with this guy? Oh, boy. The question is, do we attack... Four damage is good. What if they have something that can deal with it, though? What can deal with it only during combat? Well, we're going to draw four, but I'm saying, like, I could attack and then sack it pre post combat. But also, if we draw through the breach off of four, no, I, I'm. If they had char, they would have charred it at, during my upkeep after I declined this trigger. Um. My my interest is drawing four if we hit through the breach. It's a lot better. I think it's worth it. <laughs> okay, see, fourth Aerolingus is also a good card, but we don't have the white for it right this second. I think it's just... Yeah, Palantir into Trinket Mage seems good. Oh, we actually... Yes, we do. <laughs> I'm not smart. Look, it's white mana right when you need it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's get this guy. Cast this guy. Make a bunch of white. Man. <laughs> well, that seems good. What are you doing? Oh, that's the worst. Reprieve. Why? I cannot believe you've done this. Still be the fucking game. And they got to draw a card. I mean, we still get this, so if we hit a white source, it's good, but... You know. Wow. Their rudeness has never ceased. It's just mono rudeness. Come on, white source. Planes. That's not a white source. Dang it. What's better, keeping Venser up or keeping or playing Palantir? That's the question. Probably Palantir, right? And then if there's an Eldrazi on the top, they just literally... Oh, there's not going to be because they're both in our hand. That's sad. Uh, I still think it's Palantir here. Got a Torsten on the top. Uh, through the Breach and Xander's Lounge, huh? <laughs> so what's... If they, let's say they mull the first card, right? I want to put this on the bottom. I'll put this on top and see if you want to just take five and go to two. They did not. 
Well, that's pretty good. All right, well. Hope you tap out for something stupid that doesn't actually impact the board in any way, shape, or form. Can we do it? Oh, man, we don't even get to... Oh, dang it. Dang it. We don't even get to throw the breach him. Hmm. Hmm. These lands that come into play tapped are being, are being real biscuits here. I will keep this. I mean, it's a soul ring and a mana confluence. Like, what, what more do I want, you know? Oh, I see. Monastery Mentor on the first turn. That's pretty good. Untapped red land, or blue land, or green land. <laughs> it's any, any color, really. Not a blue land, though. Um, so it's got to be just mana, ring, mana Confluence Soul Ring into Sensei's top, I guess. If we want to play Minskin Boo next turn. That sure is a thing, isn't it? Um, I think we're going to go this guy into fourth. So, yeah. All right. Well. We're setting it up as long as they don't go too crazy. And they won the flip. Where's the justice? They didn't do anything. Are they just going to reprieve? I could see them reprieving. They did not reprieve. Oh, I think we're doing well here now. Okay. Well. I'm not going to attack. I would much rather protect Minskin Boo. And they lost the flip, so it's basically like it's basically like we attacked. Oh dear, something's happening. Dak. Well, they're going to take Sol Ring. That's really sad. <sighs> Man, that's a bummer. Insta take Sol Ring. Yep. Oh, they took top. Oh, that's so much better for us. Wow. That I'm a fan of. I also could have tapped it to draw, uh, but I f 6 so there was no way to avoid that. In my mind, there was no chance I thought they were actually taking top, so like I didn't even bother to cancel F6, so <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, yeah, this guy's going straight here, and then these guys are just going at their face, and then we can draw four. Man, I'm really glad they let us keep soaring. That's so nice of them. Uh, Dak, your face, your face. That's so weird because even though I, I like, I could have tapped this and canceled the Dak ability, and I would have just drawn the card. Sacrifice. 
and kill this guy. Draw my cards. Play nothing. I've already played a land this turn. I mean, Glorybringer seems pretty good here. And I got a cleanup. Uh, probably Xander's Lounge here. Okay. I feel like this game came together well. I'm kind of shocked they took Sensei's Divining Top over Soul Ring. That's... I guess they felt like they had Mana Crypt already, maybe? I don't know. I am confused. Okay. Uh, I will 100% block this guy. Go to eight. Come on. Won the flip again. Man. Goblin guide getting in there. Well, I, they can either take the monarchy or kill Minsk and Boo. So... And then we have eight power with Glorybringer. That's pretty good. Like eight power puts them to dead on on a losing flip. <laughs> A braid one token. Okay. So I have one card in hand. Seems fine. Killing the Minsk. Seems good. And we drew another and we drew another land, so sure. Not a land. Bitter reunion. One, two, three, four, five. We can have six mana. We can't bitter reunion and play glory bringer. I think it's just play restless spire, cast glory bringer. That feels correct. They have one card in hand, like is that a remand? That was just top, you're just taking a little peek see. And I think we're exerting here. Um, reason being, it just gives us a much firmer grasp on the monarchy. Oh, okay. I guess we don't have a choice. Draw that card at the end of the turn. Next turn, draw Talisman. That's a lot of mana we're drawing. All right. Well, let's see if this is a quick 3-0. Or if the magic gods are not smiling on us today. It feels like they were. Oh, I do like a turn one Reckoner Bank Buster. That's pretty decent. Turn two, play this guy, activate. Yeah, I'll definitely keep that. Or oh, playing in Swift Spear. I wonder if they also have Monastery Swift Spear. Or if their name is a lie. It's probably a lie. Oh, I see. You fancy. Okay. Well. 
Me too. What do you think the odds are they entomb here? Or Vampiric Tutor? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, okay. That's fine. All right, we live to live to see another day. Taiga is interesting. We don't actually need it to cast anything here. So I think we're just playing Restless Spire, but it's nice to have the extra land for next turn. Oh, they have two cards in hand, and they clearly don't have a reanimate spell, so. Okay, we're just getting in there. So no shallow grave. Got two cards. It's not a ton. Taken two. Dothy Voidwalker. You got it. Hmm. Well, shoot. One card in hand. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure it's just Minsk and Boo here. So I was flying over Atlanta yesterday and was sitting next to someone who was watching a cube video on his phone. And I got to talking. He mentioned he was a fantastic of you. I assume you mean fan. And you had sent him signed stuff while he was deployed. That's amazing. Wow. What a small world, man. That's super cool. Wow. Relaxing Sam, will you tell Mike B happy birthday for me? Michael B, happy birthday! I hope he heard me. Watch them kill Minskin Boo and then just reanimate it immediately. Sammy, Sammy Mui said happy birthday. Oh, thank you. He said thanks. I guess I'll just take three here, go to one, all right. Okay, they have one card. I said Mui, because I wasn't sure I've never been sure how to pronounce your name. Sorry, Sammy. Love you, buddy. Uh, I will not use the ability. Okay, well, we needed a land here. Fascinating. I mean, we can just make a 7-7, seven, seven, right? I can't fling. It's negative 2 to fling, bro. He got one counter on him. Otherwise, I would have done that immediately. Wow, you suck. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. All right, I guess we're just putting counters on this guy, making a 7-7. Seven, seven. So we can actually make a 3-3 three, three with Karn. That seems decent. I don't really want them to put an Oliphant into play, though. If a card would put an opponent's card from anywhere, they could just activate this guy, put a 6-4 into play. Like, that seems worse than just getting a land. Actually, no, we can just Glory Bring at that point. Yeah, let's do that. If that's what you want to choose, that's totally fine. Uh, let's get Volcanic Island, I believe. All right, not terrible. 
And if they kill the construct, we can crew the wreck in our bank buster in response. I feel like if we don't hit some, if they don't hit something good here, we're in game winning position. <sighs> Yep, Minsk and Boo have to go. Okay, they have one card still. And I feel like we're in good shape. Maybe. Um, so make another guy. Play Glory Bee. And swing for the fences. Okay, well, that'll do. That'll do. Do we have anything that hates graveyards? Not really. Not really at all. So that's unfortunate. Guess we just run it back. Submit as is. Come on, Lotus or Soul Ring. Okay. Emrakul's kind of like a Lotus or a Soul Ring. I'll keep this hand. Just play a lounge here. It's our only blue source, so that feels safe. Then we can go talisman turn. Mm. Oh, I feel like we're not gonna dodge that bullet twice. They always hit Ashen Rider, which is interesting. Yeah. Don't like that. Okay, well, that was not an Ashen Rider. So next turn we can Trinket Mage for like Soul Ring or Lotus if we want to. Necromancy. I have not seen them actually bring anything from the graveyard back, so. I'm not sure if that's a thing they're interested in. We have all the colors we need, so basically right now, Soul Ring is just better than, than Lotus. a weird thing to say. Uh, we do not have the colored mana to go mage into Sol Ring into the Bitter Reunion. We need one more colored. We could get we could go Mox Ruby into Bitter Reunion. <sighs> top might be good. I just can't activate it this turn. Yeah, I mean maybe top maybe it is top. I don't hate it. Rob, your plays your plays today have been phenomenal, buddy. Where does this put us next turn? Seven mana with a with a soul ring. I think we can cast enough things in our deck without soul ring. I think it is top. Which doesn't feel great, but I don't know. I feel like it gives us a better Better long game, you know? Yeah, you watch it on the YouTube later. On the UE tube. <laughs> Got him. Did you get him? Who they put in the counter on? We'll see. Scrap work. Mutterino. I mean, I just want to draw through the breach. Okay, they exiled Inferno Titan. I will not block. I'll just take six here. I am your real dad. Son. Son. 
I'll never forget the day me and your mother took you home from the hospital and named you Cyborg. It was one of our proudest moments, you know? Ugh, why aren't you a through the breach? So I think we're going to top here and see what, see what we look, see what we look, see what we look at. See what we hit a Reno. Oh, now we can draw, play Soul Ring, play Karn. See, look, we got the Soul Ring anyway. I actually have five mana. Does that change anything? Probably not. This guy. This guy. All right. Discard Kolagon's command, or exile Kolagon's command, sure. Until your next end step. Oh, so they can actually still play it now. That's really interesting. Fascinating. Guys, we're so close to hitting our sub goal today if you guys want to subscribe or follow. It's like we're right there, you know? Right there. Inti is very good. Shockingly good. Also already in my cube as well. That was an instant. Oh, that was sad. So they hit Soul Ring as an artifact and then uh, two damage to the construct because then it would be, you know, dead. Okay, now they're going to put a counter on this guy. So none of my blocks. Oh, they didn't. Well, we're definitely blocking here. All right. Well, I would say fingers crossed for Through the Breach, but we know it's not there because it's going to be a Sensei's Divining Top followed by a Mana Confluence and a Minskin Boo. What are my exiled cards, by the way? We got a Karn, Tring Mage, Sol Ring. Okay. Going to play the second Forest here in case we ever draw our god. So we top... Draw top, Minsk and Boo, make a guy. Yeah, that's fine. I think the next card is Minsk and Boo. I'm just gonna do we just do we just roll the dice? Uh, it's not worth it. <laughs> like there's no there's no benefit to that. Plus it could be a third card that we want to look at, so. Pyromancer, not you. So one, two, three, draw. Yeah, definitely. For sure, use that ability. All right. Well, now they can discard, put a counter on the Dothy Voidwalker and just kill Minskin Boo. Dolly Voidwalker is a hell of a card, man. I see. Well, that's not quite lethal yet. I guess they're just killing M Minsk and Boo here? Or is it lethal? It is now lethal. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe they don't do it. Maybe they'll give us one more draw to hit through the breach. It does not look like they did. Fair enough. I don't think Through the Breach is actually still in the deck. I think we might have taken it out. Let's see. Oh, no, it's still here. Okay. Just checking. Does Triskelion combo with anything? Does it combo with Heliod? Is that why that guy's in here? Is it just a Heliod combo? 
I could board in Misha's workshop in Triskelion. Absolute banger of a combo. There is, unfortunately, there is no Mephidros vampire in the cube. <laughs> what a classic. There's no tooth and nail either, which makes me sad. Tooth and nail will forever have a home in my cube. I think it's the best uh, search for creatures, put them into play card. Plus, if there's any, like, t these two creatures combo together cards, that, like, it just makes them a little better. Because you can just get them both, you know? What about the Triple Black 3 Undying guy? Micaeus, uh the Unhallowed? What does that guy do? Other non-humans get plus one, plus one, and have Undying whenever... That guy, I don't think that guy combos, though. I will hit yes. This hand doesn't do anything other than, like, play a Bankbuster or an Inti. Is that enough? It doesn't feel like enough, especially with no blue sources. Like, this hand's not that good. This hand's much better. I think we're just shipping Venser here. Yeah, that seems fine. This hand's got a lot going for it. They went to six as well. Let's see if they'll entomb on turn one. <laughs> this is still the Alpha Frog Cube, yes. Until tomorrow. We're going to play this first because I want to be able to dig deeper with my little toppy top. Oh, Banky Boy. Okay. Well, that's like a D Mulligan. This is a lot of this is a lot of stuff on the board right now. They're gonna go. Oh, they didn't entomb for once. Okay, I feel like this is pretty good for us. All right. Well, we have seven permanents on board. Fourth Eurolingus. Emrakole. Eh? Um, so if we thirst, we're actually not super likely to hit. A basic. So we're probably just drawing with Bankbuster. And then we can top again. Yeah, that seems fine. We can also top, and if we seal a basic, we can actually get... Oh, no, they're going to entomb, and then immediately... Oh, God. Oh, dear. That's actually fine. Let's just draw lounge and probably discard lounge. Uh, might as well top here because we're going to see the same three cards. So we might as well see if we want to draw something worse than... Oh, that's fascinating. Does that do anything for us? Not really. Which is kind of sad. I mean, we could play... Inti for two. Activate Spire. Crew the Bank Buster and kill this. But they do have two mana up. Hmm. I almost feel like we just discard Thirst here.
they did dark ritual, so maybe they're actually going to reanimate something. <laughs> so, yep, there goes Ashen Rider. Okay. And persist. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah, discard Emrakul is also pretty decent. So you're killing my bank buster. Okay. That's fine. I don't love it. So we'll play Inti. I don't think we're attacking for obvious reasons. Um, do we just play this? Probably. See, the problem with, I, I don't really want to discard Emrakul because if we hit something through the breach, it's just absolutely game winning. The shuffle is nice. Yep, that's fine. Sure. They have to play something, right? Yeah, okay. Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Soaring Lotus Emrakul. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is 11 mana. We're real close. <laughs> oh, boy. That's not great. Fascinating. Well, don't love it. Fourth Eerolingus off the top. Literally off the top. Torsten, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're one, oh, actually, oh no, we're one mana shy of actually just casting Torsten here. One green shy, it seems. So next time we can draw Lotus and then draw Torsten and cast it. Assuming we don't die. We can also give Torsten haste. Man, our, our opening was great, and then we just kind of drew nothing. This is a sad deck to 2-1 to with, unfortunately. I'm very tempted to Restless Spire to block. Do we need Restless Spire? Not really. Oh, this is just red blue. I thought it was red blue one because I'm thinking of like all the other lands. Like being being two to activate seems terrible. Not terrible, but like really good <laughs> like that seems really strong i'm sure they have removal for this guy i mean we have nothing to do when our top three cards are black lotus emrakul torsten so you got it 
Terrible? Really good? Same thing. <laughs> yeah, MTG Pyro. I can just reset the sub goal. So we're dead on board. Yeah, that's fine. But we can put Torsten into play. Does Torsten do anything? Does, does his ability his ability trigger when he, when he comes into play or when he dies? We're definitely drawing Torsten here. Thank you. We should have drawn Lotus. Yeah, maybe not. I'm not sure it matters. Season Pyromancer. So when it enters the battlefield, yeah, let's do that. All right, so we're gonna say green. And then we need three more mana. One, two, three. And take Taiga, Tarn, this, Emrakul, Scrapwork, Seasoned. <laughs> so draw six. Seems good, all right. So we can play Pyromancer and discard two things. MTG Pyro with the gifted subs. Either way, really appreciate you, my dude. Uh, one, two, three. Discard Mutt and Tarn. All right, well, we are in a position with creatures now. So this guy's probably not getting through. They have to deal us an extra four or deal with all three of these. And this guy seems could be like, they have two cards. This could have actually put us back in the game. Fingers crossed. I don't think they can deal us four damage with two cards and like one red source. If they reanimate Woodfall Primus, I mean, that's fine. We can just jump with, with this guy and it's not even a chump because it just eats the Woodfall Primus. So we're just taking four, I think. Yeah, you don't have reach, right? We can also play this guy next turn and then give it haste. That's what we hope to draw. That was the card right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> That's... <Ugh. laughs> I'm also going to put Minsk and Boo. <laughs> I was trying. Oh man, Torsten is a busted card, man. What a what a sweet addition. Like when you're able to cast this guy, it rewards you. And we'll put three counters on this guy. Everything has the haste. Attack all at your face. Let's see if that's good enough. It might not be. They have to block something, though, with this, right? They block here, and then they die. They have to block Torsten. I think they still die. Oh, they're getting rid of Emrakul, though. I think we actually just die here. We just lose now. Oh, I should have just kept the 1-1 one, one back. What a dummy. Oh, God. Look, how you, how do you lose in this position? Yep. That's so sad. That's frustrating. Yeah, definitely should not have lost there, I don't think. So, that sucks. Um... So what, I mean, like, could we just not have attacked with these two? It would have been fine. Uh, 
that's discouraging, man. That's really stupid. I like, I just, I got so like, this is just how like I play magic. I get really excited about being able to do dumb stuff. The, like, this is the thing I wanted to do the whole game. So like when I draw it, I get to put Emrakul into play, which is what we've been waiting for, for like 10 turns. So the anticipation of that really like prevents me from seeing that they're going to sack Ashen Rider to get rid of the Emrakul. So what can you do? Thanks for watching. Sack Emmy to Minsk. Um, yeah, we could have, but we could have also sacked this guy post combat. Like, I think there were several lines. I just got excited and tried to put as much damage on the board as possible. Um, that was not, that was not it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.